The power of chat. Today, we're going to be diving into how you can use ClickUp's view options to add a new window to your experience. So here we are on a video production list inside of ClickUp, and we might be trying to communicate about stuff. And obviously you can do that through some of the range of other abilities like comments and just being able to leave notes for each other inside of tasks, etc. But there's sometimes that need for synchronous communication, and you might want to be able to do that through ClickUp and be able to save yourself some time. So to do that, you go up to the top right corner and you press view. Now you can create a list view, a board view, a calendar view, more for your projects and your tasks. But if you go down here to page view, you can actually click chat. Now chat, you can basically start conversations here in real time and chat about the specific list you're working on. And this is very useful because well, you're talking about the thing that matters in context to what you have in front of you. So you can do what you do with regular views is add a private view for this or a pinned view. But in this case, I'm just gonna click add view. Now, as you can see, I already have a chat available through here. So any additional chat views that you have, you can actually open them up and even rename them. So if this is something that you wanted to be able to call the Jumpstart project, you could have a chat view per different area, which is pretty cool. And if I go over to here, I can go to sharing of permissions and I can choose the people that I want to share this with. So this might be quite helpful for not overloading certain people inside of the chat windows. So let's jump over to this Jumpstart project and you can see down here, the power of the chat abilities really comes from being able to comment and tag tasks and things that you're working on. So if I put at mention, I can at mention people, tasks and documents. Now tasks is particularly helpful because if I was, for example, talking about this jumpstart seminar, you could say, where are we with this? And it contexts that specific task and it allows the person to click into it and even see a preview of the stage that it's working in. So if you and your team want to be able to just keep updated in general, that's perfect with that task without leaving here. And in the right hand corner over here, I can assign this to a specific person. So if I had somebody else I was working with, I could assign that to them to make sure that they've logged that as a task or at least recognized it as something they've done. And they can go over to the right hand corner here and resolve it clearly. Now you can naturally do all the stuff you would inside of a regular chat window like reply, communicate, conversate, but you can also assign comments, mention somebody, mention a task, and even add emojis. And you've still got all of the slash commands, which means you can bring in tables and you can create a whole host of stuff that you would inside of docs. So being able to embed multimedia is still a brilliant option. You can even bring in some of these board and table views if you want to, which can help you and your team just to be able to communicate and visualize stuff as you're talking. So this is how you can use the power of the chat abilities and get started. Another mention is in the right hand corner, you can see mention of tasks and you can view all of the watches to the certain chat that you're in. And this is very helpful for keeping on task with a set list. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this feature. Please do let me know if you have any questions and we'll dive into them in the next feature. Thank you very much.